guys check this out I just met John Mayhew down in Florida at bike week and he's got a collection here of bikes that we're going to be buying and this one is beautiful it's a CX500 turbo what year is this one John? 82 1982 they only made the 500s one year oh there's only one year I thought they had them two years what I really love about this bike is the color combo. Obviously, it's sexy as hell with a turbo, but look at the rims on this thing. Like a, it's an anodized gold rim. And the fit, the fit and finish on these Hondas is just freaking awesome. Um, I've had a few of these turbos. I absolutely love these things. How many of them do you have? I have three turbos. Three? Two, two here and one at the other garage. This one, this one only has 10,219 miles. And you just got it running? It hadn't been running in a while? It, it, yeah, it hadn't because of the, the fuel was all messed up. We've and seen I, that before. And I uh, I got it on one cylinder earlier. And uh, to be honest, I've used this stuff a lot. It's, 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 <laughs> I, did, I just made like an IV drip and ran ran through the lines and ran the pump. Mechanic in a bottle. <laughs> Very cool. And it, it, it's... it's Manic, the manic mechanic is going to be out of work now that we know about this stuff. Just kidding, Jeff. I had to save more machines of mine that I couldn't even get running right. So this is um, this is this, is, this one been repainted because it looks like this one has graphics, the other one doesn't. That one I think also had some fall down, and because there's some fiberglass work, some sections of here were repainted. The tanks still the original. Cool. Everything in the back's original. Um, this one's got twelve thousand miles on it. It'll run on ether. <laughs> yep. I'm not getting fuel. And I didn't get... I wasted too much time troubleshooting this one, but I was happy to hear it run before it goes. <laughs> Very yeah. cool. So we got two... Oh, hold on. We're going to... We, you got to do one of those voila things for me, will you? You're probably get caught. We'll Ready, guys? Me. Ready? Go. Voila. Look at this. 1981 CBX 1100 six-cylinder. We've had a few of these on the channel um, recently. One of my favorites, I had this bike back in 1990, so uh, I guess I was 25 years old. I had one of these I bought from a friend of mine, Baldo Gonzalez, old, old, old friend of mine, and I rode that all summer along for a couple of years and had a lot of fun on it. Uh, mine had the bags on it. Yeah, the, they, they're, they're missing. Uh, but guys, look at this. 98 original miles. How did that happen, John? How do you I only have 98 miles? Uh, they... We're having trouble selling them. They're a little bit too complicated. So they offered them to the vocational school, like high school vocational schools. Yep. And this one, because of the complexity, got set in the back room. Thank God. And they didn't, somewhere the bags got lost, but yeah. they didn't do anything with it. And uh, I bought it wow. off of another guy who had it in his dealership. Uh, it's just the vintage bikes in the, in the front of his shop. Very yeah. cool. Have you ever started this one? I rode it when yep. I first bought it, and then I let it sit about two years, and I thought I had good gas in it, and it, everything came out of the bowls was green. So I got it to fire on four of the six cylinders, and I just never got it. I had it on the IV drip. Um, the From sitting around and condensating, the old tank rusted too, so this is one I got off eBay. Cool. I have the old tank under it, but it's a throwaway piece. This wow. needs. This is not hooked up right now, and it needs a little... Has a light rust in there and needs a, a pin. Yeah, the manic mechanic is a specialist, Jeff Cassian, in doing these six cylinder carbs, and him or the, the boys can do the other ones too. What do we got under this cover over here? This is an 89 uh, Hurricane 600. Wow, what I don't know a if pretty they call bike. Them hurricanes in 89, but it's a wow. the same bike. What a pretty bike. Jeez, love the color combo. I did too. I, I've I, always I'm, loved I'm these Hondas. Yeah, yeah, me too. Black and white, silver and white, it just pops. Yep, this thing looks really clean. It is. I this was an eBay eBay deal too. Especially with the with the miles on it with forty four thousand, it doesn't look like it. If you told me it had ten thousand, uh, yeah, I would believe it. That's right. You know, I was really surprised that uh, whoever owned it obviously really cared for it. Yeah, no, but I think it was the original owner that I got it from. Jesus, beautiful. So, and then we've got a uh, what model is this here? That's a um, VFR seven hundred. V4. Very cool. Interceptor. Both of these are. This is a, an 86, and this is an 86 F2. They but, changed to some really disgusting looking gauges. I like the, yeah. the old single gauges. This one's a little road rash on this side. Yeah, this is, that's, every bike has a story, and that one, 
I didn't work out as I like. I don't have titles for these too. So they're, they'll be parts biked from other bikes. These are the ones I didn't even want to offer, but it's been putting my eye on. It's this right here. It's a CB1. 1989 CB1? It's a 400. What a cool piece. 400cc Super Sport. Yeah. I haven't seen too many of these on the road. I don't think they made that many they, of them. They didn't make them in yellow, but he did. He just got the right badging on that. So he, um, he painted it? Yeah, it was uh, blue. Wow, how um, many, mile, how many miles on that one? 26,000? Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's where those extra numbers from, right? 25,000. That's 16,000 is what I'm seeing, yeah. This is actually... Um, this one was dropped. I too. got it from a, a storage wars kind of thing. Oh wow! Really? A guy, a guy bought it from it, and then I bought the seat off of him. Yeah. And then, uh, and he was offering other parts. I said, you know, he said, what do you want for the whole bike? So I bought the whole. Buy bike. the whole thing. Cool. Um, this one, I saw the title for it. Yep. I sent a friend up to pick it up out of Michigan. Yeah. And in Pennsylvania, you have to do all the notary stuff. So I said, just just notarize your signature on your end. Send it along with my carrier. The guy was bringing it. And she didn't do that, and then I lost contact with her. I mean, I physically saw the title, so I, I started tracking the girl down, and it wasn't worth my time. My friend Mossy is the Northeast Regional Sales Manager for Honda. He's going to want to come over and take these, these for a ride if we buy them for sure. CDXs and CX50 turbos. What's under this? That's my son's 600 CBR. Not for sale? Not for sale. Okay. It's nice. It's not covered. It's a nice it's not 99. Oh shit, that's real clean for a 99. Wow, black and looking at orange. Very and nice. He brought it to me. It's dad. I, I'm moving back from Virginia, West Virginia, and he didn't tell me he had ethanol gas in it. Oh no. So that's a mess. <laughs> so, ask him if he wants to sell it. Maybe, maybe I'll buy that one too. I did ask him, and he says, nah, my bike's too clean. He wants to ride it and have some fun. Yeah. And this is a. And he has connections that fix stuff. That's a shadow? That's the shadow. Yeah, it's nothing. Super special. I've never ridden it. I had it. I had it running. It doesn't have the stock pipes on. They're a little bit loud for me. But was this one on the package list? I don't remember. Yeah. Well, yeah, like 800 bucks or something. It runs. It did. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take that one too. How many miles in that one? 32,000. I got a dent Six. magician that can probably pop that dent out and put a paint job on the tank, clean it up like a new penny. Some make someone happy for a summer bike. This one over here. This is my 1100 Sabre. Ooh, I love these Sabres. The Mad Max. My what? friend my friend Todd Haven had one of these. And he, and, you uh, called a Mad Max. Was it in a movie? Or they just, well, just they, because they were he, really he, quick? He, he, uh, it's because of my buddy Todd. I was just talking to him the other day. He had one of these, and he got the license plate custom ordered from DMV, and it said Mad Max, and that was just his thing. And oh, he, so that, and that's he had, how you. Oh yeah, and he had pipes on his, and it sounded like a, like a, I don't know, it's hard to look at. Just had this hellacious howl that it would make, and he did these massive smoky burnouts all the way up the street on it. <laughs> so, and I was, like, I was like, back then I was like twenty one in eighty six, so it just had stuck in my memory bank is is one of those things, that, you know. His was black and orange, and he used to do the most hellacious. Him and my brother were totally insane. My brother had a 79 GS1000S West Cooley replica, and they used to go out and raise cane on these things. Cocaine, I think. <laughs> uh, just kidding. They used to raise hell on these things. This one has how many miles? 23,000? No, I think it's more than I can't see it. Looks, looks pretty clean. The paint job looks nice on it. Not bad. I mean, all my bikes were the riders. They're not. They're not trailer queens. Yeah, well, that's what they were meant so, to be ridden. Yeah, twenty three eight. Twenty three eight. Okay. When's the last time you ran this one? <laughs> I don't know. Five six years ago, I guess. I did drain. The, oh, this is the one that carbs started seeping. You know, the O rings that connect the carbs. Yeah, the yeah. These carbs are really yeah, difficult to work on. All my V fours did that. Yeah, they're they're. Uh, so I think I have kits for this somewhere, but it just gave me a matter of time to do them. So we got the the V forty V sixty five Saber. The what what model shadow is that? Um, it's a shadow seven fifty. Seven fifty, and then we got a four hundred, two seven hundreds, a six hundred, the CBX, and two six hundred turbos. What about the quads? Do you, do you want to sell those too? 
Are these up for sale? Do you do quads? We do, yeah. We love quads. That's a 95 Polaris 250. It's a little rough around the edges. but it's... This one here? No, I'm sorry, the, oh. the Polaris. This is a Casilla 150, which is, um, they use a Chinese, geez, look at that oxidation. Cam. I'm not as much into the Chinese ones, no, but um, that's, that's I could find it at home, you know, uh, for sure. Well, it don't matter for me. What about this Polaris? That's a Polaris 250. Um, Trail, Trail Boss. Boss. What year? 95. 95. And what year is it? <laughs> yeah, it's classic. Is, uh, has this one run recently? No. no. My goal was if I, depending on how long it took you to get up here, I was going to keep tinkering because I have not had. Well, if I'm not back in a couple weeks, you got a couple weeks to to, to exactly. maybe get them running. <laughs> oh, I, I'm still going to do that. I don't uh, tell my I'll buy them as is, running or not running. Wait a second, all of them. You have to edit that part out. Okay. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't ask you why you're why you're out here. But yes, yeah, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two, and then in the other garage you had three bikes, right? There was, yeah. so that's twelve. And you got some at your house too? I have two VFRs over there. Um, Let's go check 80, those. An 87, a 700, and a 287, 700s. One's, one's a little rough, and the other. Well, actually, they're, they're just ne neglect, you know. They're... So stay tuned. We're going to buy all these from John. And get them all dialed in and cleaned up. Thanks for watching. God bless America.